Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and guess what I'm doing today? Let's see, can you see that? Alrighty. My Vermi Bag Mini Mammoth has come in the mail. And here we go. Been waiting on this for maybe a month, and then I've also been procrastinating because now we have to make the stand. Alright, so green and black. Wait, what else does it come with? Alright, comes with the Vermi bag instructions. And I bought the little metal rods that come with it. And I will bring you back when we start doing the stand. So we unboxed the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth, and now I have everything ready to go. I have my Vermi Bag, I have the kit with the corners and the aluminum rods, I have my casters, I have my holding pieces, my screws, my screwdriver slash drill new bits, and um, I'm using what wood we had around the house. So instead of 1x6s, these are leftover 1x10s from my bonsai bench, so fingers crossed that works out alright. And over there, those are 2x4s, not 2x2s, so that's probably going to require a little bit more work as well. I have a 200 year old house and we've been working on it for 20 years so I have a lot of experience improvising so it may not look exactly the same as what you see on the Burmy Bag channel but it's going to be what I have. Here I go, I'm going to put you down on the tripod and we will get started.
I have uh, a doodad here, which I'm not really sure what it's called, but my husband likes the idea of me using a power tool that scrapes things or chisels things, and he does the idea of me with a hammer and a chisel. So um, this may or may not be my last will and testament. Um, joking, hashtag not joking. So let's see how this works. Never used it before. Let's learn together. appears to have been enough anyway. La 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 la. There we go. Guess I didn't need that extra chunk out anywho. Excellent. Well, I'm gonna, that was loud and painful. So you don't need to watch the rest of that for me, with me. I'll bring you back when I'm gonna put the bag in. Okay, now the stand is done. Uh, it's not painted yet, but I thought I would show you the install of the bag, even though I'm going to take it out and paint the stand. Um, it, let's just say I'm going off of used lumber and not going to spec uh, per the Vermi bag instructions online is with some difficulty. So, as you can see here, this is not six inches, this is more like 10 inches. Um, which means I didn't have room for both a bottom thing, a bottom rung, and also a tray for the um, mortar trays. So, hopefully that turns out to be a good depth for mortar trays. Uh, let's see, secondly, um, looking at the 2x4 issue, Strongly recommend if you decide to go with 2x4s to notch them out um, to depth before you install the whole thing because using the uh, gouger, I don't even know what it's called, uh, doodad to get this out afterwards is a pain in the butt and also not super beautiful. Uh, so let's see. That was the second thing that I did that was not exactly right. And also it kind of put, it was difficult to get these matched up when you couldn't put the rod through and match it up on the other side. So there's a little bit more play there than there would have been had we just got the two by twos in the first place. This is going to be one strong vermi bag stand, um, also table. So that's, that's, I guess, a benefit of using larger wood, but uh, other than that it was kind of a pain because it didn't exactly work out 100% like you couldn't follow the instructions is what I'm saying. So there's a lot of uh, would you rather, would you rather deal with that or go get two by hues? Your choice. So now for the install. So I've already got the first one here and then I'm gonna grab this little strap here See how this goes one handed. Okay, here's this. Through the one, then through the strappy, then through the other. Okay, now for the corners. Gonna put it through one side here. And then through the other side. So it looks like I just have one corner that the strap is um, touching. And actually, once I get them all together, it's hanging free. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. 
Yeah, I was concerned that it was going to scratch on that wood and eventually mess up the straps. But it is not. So there we have it. It's in its stand. All right, here we are on the inside. It does have a ventilation flap, which will be good for half of the year. Um, in the summertime, things do get pretty wet, and in the winter, they get pretty dry. So I'm, I'm glad to have that little trap door there to let the moisture out in the summertime. And here we are in the inside. Okay, it didn't come like that. I, I put that in there just for scale. But everything's laying nice and flat. Got my harvest panel down here. And give me a second. Let me go get one of my mortar trays and see if it fits. Well, all's well that ends well. That works. Uh, I can only fit one of these type of mortar trays in there at any one given time, which I think is okay. My smaller mortar trays don't fit. So I don't know what size this one is. This one has markings for 21 inches up to here. So I'm guessing, you know, a little bit more than that, maybe 24, 25. So in the event that you make it like I did with the two by fours and all that business, there are more than one mortar tray. One will disappoint you and one will fit lovely. So there's that. Okay, I will bring you back when I start filling him up. Here he is. Here is the mini mammoth in his new home. All put together. And I decided against painting it. I was a little worried about paint fumes and worms and whatever. So I'm just going to leave it. I may or may not regret that. Let you know in a couple years. All right, so I got my paper bag there in the bottom. And then I'm going to add some of my pre-made prepared bedding, which I can link up top for the video that explains about that. So I'm going to take some of my prepared bedding and put it in such a way that the, the bag is holding it in place. Hold that back. Trying to get a good layer to cover that whole bag at the bottom. There, there we go. Whole bottom has been covered. All right, let's go see if I got some volunteers. All right, well, the camera quit filming while I was moving the worms over. Can you believe that? After all of that, we didn't get to see any worms. And I thought, that, that can't happen. So, what I've done here, uh, open the bag back up and have a look at it after I've already put the, I don't know, three or four handfuls of worms back in. So, this is what it looks like now. Um, okay, well, this is where we are at now. And uh, so there's probably a good two pounds of worms in there. And we'll see, we'll look in on them in another week after they're settled in. They took a fair amount of food and bedding from their previous home in there, so they should be okay. All right, guys, well, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.